ina kwance yara suka shigo suka ce ga shi can ana rushe kofar na isa sai na tashi zaune na ce inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun wani aboki na ya zo ya ce ana rushe kofar na isa sai na tashi na tafi da aka taso maka go yan smoto shi ta so tana jin gabaro da ita ana tana ginin yana ta zubowa kamar hayaki haka yana ruguzowa dutsuna suna ta faffashewa dan muka danga cewa ka ko je in in ka je za a wado muku akai tsoro muka danga ji muna ta gudu hankalin siya tashi ana ta zuwa wasu kuma sun samu damar har su haukan tudin kasar da lokacin da ake rushe kofar suna snapping na hotuna suna daukan hotuna haka dan ya zama tarihi da shauran su abin ya ba mu tare mamaki mutaka cewar ba a taba ganin haka ba yau gashi kuma hakan ta faruwa kofar mu kofar albarka ce ta dade kuma haka na taso na tadda ita ba yanda zaka yi tunda dai an riga an yi in ba ka ji dadi ko ma ka ji ba dadi ai ba ka da abin yi tunda ba kai ne hukuma ba Kano has changed dramatically. The inner city, the walled city, um, has many of its original features uh, standing. But with population explosion, enormous explosion, the city is full, overcrowded in some areas. Uh, in other areas, open spaces have been built up. roads have been constructed street lights uh, supplied so there is a competition between the old and the new uh, uh, living side by side and people have tend to uh, live in harmony with these two environmental situations <laughs> ke ta ko da mai kazo an fi kan ai wannan kuma muna nan in duk da wanda duk abin da kazo da shi dan ba na man yanzu misali an ce wani ya zo nan Kano an ce Kano ko da mai kazo an fi ka an ce ya zo nan filin shahuci ya bazo da dabino da ranar Allah ta'ala sai ya zo sai ya kunna kendir ya fi 12 ikewa ya dabinan da shi sai kuma wani ya fito da ka mota izo ina hahaskawa ina nawa nawa kaga kenan da hasken ranan da hasken kendir din duk ba su ishe shi ba sai da ya kara da hasken cocilan din sa to shi wannan sai tattara dabinan nasa sai ya ce to dama shi an ce ko da mai kazo an fi ka saboda haka mu mutanen Kano ta a yanzu da inda duk kabullo za mu fi ka shine mun iya karrama bako akwai karrama bako gaskiya duk inda ba ko izo Kano to za mu karrama shi in ma da akwai abin da aka ake tunanin an fi mu to a wajen dai karrama ba ko to mun fi kowa in an zo Kano to mutun ya zo karshe kware kuwa anan Najeriya ko kuma Africa yanda ka san a prison nake haka nake ji a America kuma ko a Turai babu wanda yake jin dadi iri na dalili ko lifta muka zo za mu shiga kowa fita zai ce ai dan mu aka yi ta muzomi amfani da abon mu ta mu ce amma anan Najeriya yanzu in ka zo za ka tsallaka titi anan sai ka riga na tsallakawa a Turai ko duk wanda ya ga na 
saka katako na da niyyar zan tsallaka kwalta ko me kake zaka taka burki ana ma ka samu dama ka sha su gar kai wasu abubuwa saboda a can na fi mutunci a fiye da na at america na fi mutunci me na kasa yana da mutunci a america amma anan afrika bare kuma nigeria ba amma san da kai ba in diyan da ka san zaka ka iya ci da kanka ka san da zaka yi amma babu ruwan gwamnati ko makocin ka ko wani naka a a kai ka san yanda zaka ka iya rayuwa amma babu wani mai taimakon ka saboda mutun ya zo da zanzaran sa ya zo da pressing cap din sa da menene ba addinin kuɗe ba mai ma ka san arewacin kasar nan da kuma Kano akwai saurin nuna kabilanci a ko ba gaskiya ba da an ga mutun ba yaran kuɗe ba addinin kuɗe ba mai duk abin da zai zo ya ga maka duk inda zaka 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 samu wani abu za ya ce a a sai muka ce to mu bari mu zo mu shiga wannan aikin duk lokacin da masu immunization za zo za mu zo kofa gidanka mu tsaya haka ka fito daga gida ce da Allah mun zo za mu yi riga kafan allura ne in ka ce a zai ce kallanni ka ganni eh ka ganni eh kana san dan kai zama kamar ni ne in har ana san a yage polio to from federal minister of health to state to the local government to the world a hada gaba daya a ce da mutanen mu za a yi 50% ko kuma 30% 30% ya zama mu ne disable likitoci da waye da waye su zama sabunti mu zo mu koya musu da duk wanda za su je sai aikin nan to za a cin maburi ina gaya maka in 2 years sai an waye gari a Nigeria ba a magana polio ko hali ko mutu ina da kudi ina sa a ga da za a masa sauki to wannan shine yasa ake san aikin gargajiya kuma za a yi ana tausaya maka Allah ya ba lafiya Allah sannu ba komai kai hakuri Allah yayi maka Allah yayi maka ana dada masa magana mai dadi wannan ta sa mutun ina jin dadin aikin kuma ya fi so zo a masa wannan amma wancan sai ka ga wani zuma ana kyaran ka ana ga maka maganganu marasa dadi wanda dalilin ya sake da shi ma za a fado magana mai dadi a jingina shi da wato irin abin da muke tafiya da shi sai shi ma ya samu tafiya da sauri muke fitowa cikin dare ya kasance kowa yana kwance a gida mu muna fitowa muna zagayawa domin ba dan komai ba dan ya zamana cewar al'ummar mu ta zauna lafiya ya kasance an gudu tare an tsira tare mutanen unguwar sun nuna cewar ba wani wanda zai iya yin wannan aiki in ba mu ba agriculture which used to be the mainstay of this part of the world has been neglected because of the upsurge of uh, revenue from uh, the oil sector um, to the extent that the people who benefit directly from farming are no longer uh, rich or able to sustain themselves because they have all or most largely left the rural areas to the urban centers in search of modern way of life instead of staying on the farm and producing food and other agricultural crops for exports uh, being kind of is kind of hard sometimes because of it depends actually if you're privileged okay 
then that's kind of easy. But if you're not, it's kind of hard. All these Almajiri people that are seeing these beggars on the street, they want to go to school, but it's lack of opportunity. They need it. So we are wasting our engineers, our lawyers, they are all on the street. The United Nations target for education in any national budget is about 25% of a national budget should be given to education. In Nigeria, not up to 5% is given to education generally. So you do not expect much in view of the increasing pressure on the places in schools from primary to tertiary institutions. BUK is a very good university. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of the best universities we have right now, federal universities we have right now in Nigeria. It's a very good university. Of course, there are a few challenges we face here. The classrooms are really overcrowded here. It's, there are big classrooms, but too many students. And with the weather in Kano, it's always very hot. So we actually find it very hard to concentrate in class and listen. And then because there's one lecturer to like 700 students, so we hardly hear or see the blackboard. I must be honest with you, the standard of education in Nigeria has fallen drastically. Many factors are responsible. One, the universities are overcrowded. The facilities are far less to cater for the growing number. The teaching staff are less committed, less motivated, and the best of them see the first opportunity to go abroad for teaching, leaving us here at the mercy of those who are not so fortunate. That is why people who are well to do, the elites, send their children abroad at a huge expense. Uh, we noticed, there was a statistic I was reading the other day, that the millions of pounds spent by Nigerian parents for training their children in England is equal, almost equal, to Nigerian federal government's budget for a year. The whole of the Nigerian government budget is as equal to what Nigerian parents pay their children to study in England, England alone. So, uh, with the elites having the opportunity to send their children abroad, no wonder that little attention is given to the local universities. bayan shekara uku nan shi ma na fita ta kofar na ga inda ake aikin ko da yake aikin ya canja kan yanda tsarin ta na asali ke na kasa ne da amma yanzu ana yin na bulan suminti da rodi da shauran kayan aiki irin na zamani wannan aikin da aka yi ne zuna ga alamun an bude kofar na yi san mota bi za ta iya ta huce ta ciki ko dai da ba ta tafi gudabin a jira daga titin ban ta shigo amma shigowa kofan da ya za ta iya fita da za ta iya shigowa at the same time ana san ko da yaushe da safar da ranar da yamma ina bakin kofa ta there will be no uh, angels from the sky who will come and transform this country it's the people who will help transform already uh, people are becoming increasingly restless they want better government they want better services they want uh, their their concerns to be addressed People are concerned, people are, are voicing their grievances, and I think this will uh, culminate in people coming together and serving notice to the authority to do, uh, to, to, to rescue them, or else. So, I think I'm going to bring you to the house, and I'm going to bring you to the house, and I'm going to bring you to the house. 